It is to Sanders. Off right tackle. Sterling gets pursuit, and there will be the no gain. The yep. ball is loose, and Sterling has picked it out. It may have been Hutchinson who originally yeah. got back there in the backfield to cause the interference, it, and it was Jared Matson who came away with second down and seven from the short hash mark on the near side. Harris goes in motion. CJ wants to pass. Rolling right. Gets the pass off. It is complete. Complete on the play to Matson. He'll get a first down, and he's going to be down about the 15-yard line in their wing T formation. Back to pass is Barrett. Rolling right. Gets the pass off. Has a man there. And it is caught. Well done on the play as that was caught by Matchett again. It's enough for a first down as he catches it inside the five well, for Sterling. Hutchinson pushes up the middle. He has a good surge, and Hutchinson is into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, there's no question he's the guy you're going to go with. This kick can be returned. This will be Martin just inside his one. Near side return. Martin Look finds out. a seam, and he might go. Martin down the sidelines. One player has a chance to catch him. That's Marquise Young, and he will catch him I think he at about the 25-yard line. As Rob, you mentioned, looked like he stepped out somewhere around the 25-yard line. Yeah, I, th I saw him step out at about the 28-yard line, but I don't think the officials saw that. They definitely didn't, Rob. Look where they're marking it. At the 17. Wow. He, That's almost a difference was, of 10 yards. And it wasn't like he just, his foot just clipped the line. He was well out. A, well out of bounds. It, almost to the point where He'll take it again, cuts it up the middle, bounces off a man, spins it into the end zone for the touchdown for Johnny Martin. Back to pass is Barrett, rolling to his right. He's going to run for it. He gets the first down. At the 45-yard line, he is tackled after a gain of almost 10. Shotgun formation now for Barrett. Sending man in motion, three wide receivers right side. Barrett is back, gets the pass off, has the man there. It's caught by Rowe. It is enough for a first down, but there is a flag down in the area of holding. And it the snap, the hold, the kick is low, and it is no good. That was a line drive. That was doomed from the start from the 20. Barrett back to, plat, back to pass, looking across the middle, and it is caught in, outside the 40-yard line. Beautiful catch there by Chris Rowe. Tackled by Jalen Waters. Slides Barrett under center. One receiver on the far side and Greg Harris. And he's going to look his way. Uh, check that. That is Chris Rowe on the catch. He's got the first down across the 40 down to the 37-yard line. Brandon Williams wraps him up. One-on-one -on -one for Rowe, far side. Barrett back to pass, looking near side. He is flush. He's going to get the first down on his own feet. He makes a man miss. He is inside the 15, down to about the 11 or 12, tackled by Javon Randall. But that was all started, Kevin, by the pump fake. Two to the, to the far side, one to the near side. Barrett from the shotgun, looking across the middle. It is complete to match it. Inside the five, inside the... He's in! Jared Matchett, a 16-yard touchdown catch from C.J. Barrett, and Sterling leads... 13 to 6. Out. Two receivers far side, one near side. And, and Barrett from the shotgun being pressured. Coming to the near side, eludes a tackler and gets pushed out of bounds. Hops over the bench. He has the first down. Game. Also in the backfield, Joel Deanley. He's the man in motion now. Going to that left side. Barrett looking left, looking left, throwing left. Has a man wide open in Beasley. He's across midfield, across the 40, across the 30. He's got speed, and he's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Sterling. Going to keep it himself, and it is in for the two-point conversion, and it is a 22-6 game. Cooey's kick is deep. It is a returnable kick. Lining up to receive this is Deanley. Deanley from his own five, across the 10. Across the 15, he's still on his feet. He's made contact at the 45 and tackled at the 49-yard line, tackled by Javon Randall. Deanley way out to our side of the field. From the shotgun is Barrett. Barrett is back. Going deep down the side of the field. Out pattern, it is caught. Nice catch by Deanley. He is going to get a first down, a gain of 11. So Fourth and a long one for Sterling. Man in motion. Back to pass is Barrett. Has time, gets the pass off. Match it on a catch. It's a first down as he takes it in about the 10 yard line. Kasim Randall there and Jalen Waters on the tackle. But again, a pretty good throw and a great catch by Matt. Shotgun. 
CJ rolling left. He is being pursued, gets by one wave of tacklers, gets by another, cuts ahead, dives for the end zone. He's in for the touchdown. It was all CJ Barrett from about nine yards out, and Sterling increases the lead. <laughs> Cooey from the shotgun, his own 35. Fakes a handoff, looking. He's got all kinds of pressure on him, and he is going to be sacked. As in there on the play for Sterling was Demir Robertson and Jacoby Streeter. He's going to lose at least 10 yards on that one. By 23 points, Cooey again from the shotgun. Looking across the middle, looking. Now going out to his left, being tackled in the backfield by Demir Hutchinson. That's a loss of six on the play. Barrett going to send a man in motion on first and 10, and they're going to hand it off to Harris off that right side, and he is tackled by Jalen Waters after a gain of about seven. And Harris and Hutchinson in the backfield, they're going to put Deanley in motion. Hutchinson's going to get the carry. He's across the 35, across the 30, and he is met right at the 30-yard line, excuse me, 25-yard line. He's close to a first down. Johnny Martin in on the tackle. Barrett going to hand off to Hutchinson right up the middle, and after he gains a couple, actually it's taken the other way. Highland strips it. Demir Bearfield is tackled. He returned the fumble. Barrett on the tackle, and that is a big change of events yeah. here. I don't even see where Hutchinson lost the ball, but Demir Bearfield, the junior, ripped it away yeah. and carried it into Sterling territory. First and 10 Tartans at the 43. Cooey from the shotgun on fourth and two, being flushed out to his right. Now he's going to cut back inside, eludes a couple tacklers. He's in trouble in the backfield, and he's buried. He is absolutely buried at the 45-yard line. Sterling will take over on downs. Nick Harmer and Demir Hutchinson. Martin and Waters back deep to receive. The, pot, the punt is blocked by Devin Starks and picked up by Highland. And running down the near sideline is Daniel Cooper, who scooped it up. Highland with 250 remaining in Sterling territory at the 19. Well, they overloaded the line. They came right up the middle. Sterling wasn't able to block it, but unfortunately, if you're a Highland fan listening, probably a little too late. Yeah. Yeah, just a desperate play right there and a good job. Not that you always like your quarterback getting in contact like that. Cooey from the shotgun. Dual wide receivers to either side. He's being flushed, and he is being thrown away in the backfield, and that's going to be a penalty on Zacoby Streeter. Dean. Hurry up offense. Cooey hands off to Martin again as he approaches the goal line. Is he in? The official running in from the far sideline. No signal yet, and yes, he is in. Sterling. They're going to put Harris in motion. It's going to go to Robertson right up the middle, across the 40, still moving forward. He has the first down. He'll do it. Sterling's going to walk off the field a winner. Bounces back after the West Deptford loss last week at home. They defeat Highland 29-14. They move to 4-1 on the season.